I want to answer the question, what do electric and magnetic fields actually look like? I want to do this because all the pictures I've seen are very misleading, especially if you're just starting out in electromagnetic theory. But the diagrams are not actually attempting to visualize the fields physically. Instead, they're just trying to visualize properties of the fields, like amplitude or polarization or something like that. In fact, I've seen very few attempts to actually visualize the fields. It's an extremely difficult problem because electromagnetic fields contain more properties than we have senses to even perceive. Anyway, this video is my attempt to convey what they actually look like. Before I get into this, I have to be honest and take a moment to say, I'm not entirely certain electric and magnetic fields even exist. All we really know about the nature of electric and magnetic fields is that charges can interact over distance after some delay. And the fact that there's a delay, this seems to suggest to some of us that maybe there's something going on between the charges that propagates. We don't actually know that. That is just what we observe. Anyway, that's a subject for another video. Here, I'm just going to stick with the classical model of electric and magnetic fields. In the fewest amount of words, electric and magnetic fields are vector functions. That means they have both a amplitude and a direction, and each of those can vary as a function of position. What we see over on the right, that glowing red represents the amplitude of a, of a vector function that can change as with position, and the arrows represent the direction. Now, even though I'm showing the arrows at discrete points, there's really nothing discrete about that. I just can't draw an arrow at every single point, so I have to distribute them. One of the first things about electromagnetics that people ever see are pictures of field lines around a magnet. A lot of students in grade school even do an experiment where they put a piece of paper over top of a magnet, sprinkle some metal filings around, and watch these metal filings align to the field lines. Well, the problem with this picture is that these magnetic field lines don't even physically exist. So visualizing them with iron filings or drawing them on paper or something like this, it implies that there's magnetic fields on or near the lines, but not away from the lines. And we come away thinking that magnetic fields are these stringy, blotchy kinds of things. That is a completely incorrect picture of magnetic fields. Electric and magnetic fields, they're smooth and continuous, much more like a fog or smoke. The magnetic field lines, and later we'll look at electric field lines, this is really just a tool for us to visualize the direction of the field throughout space. People that start to study electromagnetics, they'll also see these field lines for electric fields. Here we're looking at a visualization of the electric field lines between two different charges, the blue spheres representing a negative charge and the red sphere a positive charge. Again, I think beginners come away from something like this with the impression that electric fields are stringy, blotchy things, where the electric field exists on the line, but not off the line. But like magnetic fields, this is just a tool, the lines are just a tool, to help us track the direction of the electric fields. Electric field lines do not physically exist. And so I think this type of picture is misleading when we're trying to understand what the electric field actually looks like. Here is a very typical visualization or animation of an electromagnetic wave. In fact, this is one that I use when I teach about electromagnetic waves. But just like the prior visualizations, this one is not actually attempting to draw what the electromagnetic wave physically looks like. It's just trying to represent properties of an electromagnetic wave. It's showing that the magnetic field is perpendicular to the electric field, that there's a varying amplitude, and that that propagates in the Z direction, things like that. Not actually what the wave physically looks like. And there's some problems when we draw this that a beginner might fall into. For example, we might seem to think that this phenomenon is confined to the z-axis. And that's not true. Waves are volumetric things. They extend smoothly and continuously off of that z-axis. It just becomes very difficult to draw. So instead, we draw what is happening exactly on the z-axis, 
and just imply that any position X and Y is going to look the same. Also, the, the vectors here extending away from the z-axis, this could imply to somebody that those electric and magnetic fields are extending outward. And that's not true. There's no size to them. We are drawing a phenomenon that is confined exactly to the z-axis, so it's infinitely small. It's just that we can't draw our arrows infinitely small or we wouldn't be able to convey amplitude and direction. So those arrows themselves have to extend outward, but the electromagnetic fields are not extending outward. What we're drawing here is the electromagnetic fields along that Z axis that have a direction associated with them, but they don't extend off the Z axis. So this is also doing a very poor job of telling us what the waves actually look like. I think the best analogy for what electric and magnetic fields may actually look like is fog or smoke. Electric and magnetic fields are smooth and continuous, but they can vary a bit with position. The problem with the fog or smoke analogy is that electric and magnetic fields, they're vector quantities, so there's also a direction associated with this. So the fog or smoke really would only be conveying the magnitude of the field, and the direction we kind of have to just remember in our heads. As I mentioned before, electric and magnetic fields have more properties than we have senses to perceive. Okay, so do there exist pictures that actually attempt to show what these look like? And I've come up with what I think are the best I've seen, but they're still not perfect and we'll talk through that. Let's get into it. What I'm showing here is my best attempt to visualize what a magnetic field actually looks like around the magnet. The yellow glow here is conveying the strength or the magnitude of the magnetic field, and that's doing a very good job conveying the smooth and continuous nature of the magnetic field. The randomly distributed arrows is conveying directions. I still don't think this is perfect, and a couple of reasons for that. One, by drawing these discrete arrows, it still sort of incorrectly suggests that the magnetic field is discrete in some way or is splotchy, and that's not true. I really wish I could figure out a way to convey direction in a smooth and continuous manner, but haven't come up with it yet. Also, I think this visualization is so busy that it's really not useful for conveying information and really truly understanding the direction of the magnetic field. So I think that's really the job of the field lines, but the field lines does a poor job of telling you what the field actually looks like. Here is my best attempt to show the electric field around the same two charges we showed a few minutes ago. The blue sphere on the left represents a negative charge, and the red sphere on the right represents a positive charge. The glowing yellow is representing the magnitude or the strength of the electric field, and that's smooth and continuous. It does a very good job of that, and the arrows are showing the direction. But this visualization has the same imperfections as the last one in that Drawing discrete arrows like this is still incorrectly implying that there's something discrete or blotchy about the electric field. And as I mentioned before, I really wish I could come up with a way to convey direction in a smooth, continuous, distributed manner. But so far, I haven't come up with anything like that. And the last thing, this is still too busy to really be useful for conveying on paper or other simple properties of the field but it is a very good way to try to visualize what the electric field actually looks like around these two charges. And finally, here is my best attempt to visualize what an electromagnetic wave would physically look like. Like the previous visualizations, the yellow glow is representing the magnitude or the strength of a wave. Here, the red arrows are showing the amplitude and direction of the magnetic field components. The blue arrows are showing the amplitude and direction of the electric field components. In an electromagnetic wave, it's a coupling between the electric and magnetic fields that produces the wave phenomenon, so you can't have a wave without both of those. You can see that the wave is essentially flowing left to right. The yellow glow is doing a pretty good job of showing that the wave is smooth and continuous, 
But like the other visualizations, showing discrete little arrows like this is implying that the field is blotchy in some kind of way, and that's absolutely not true. That directionality is also smooth and continuous. I'm just not sure how to draw that. The best thing I could do was randomly distribute the arrows because drawing them on a grid or a regular array starts to look a little bit weird, whereas randomly distributing them, in my mind, helps me sort of smooth the effect of that and help me visualize it more as a smooth and continuous thing. I really hope this helps. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for using EMPossible. I want to create more videos and I want to continue to improve how electromagnetics and computation is taught online. To do that, it will really help me if you can like this video and subscribe to our channel. I also want you to know we have a lot more content that you may not be aware of. See everything we have to offer at eimpossible.net.